Hey, what's up YouTube? Uh, I've decided to record my daily painting practice um, just because I'm gonna paint anyway, right? So, and I usually record the, the video and then I will save it and then add a music track and then upload onto YouTube and that process takes up a bit of my time so I'm thinking of just uh, uh, just painting live, um, I mean real time and just talking to you guys so yeah, let's get started um, Today is 19th of March. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking of just uh, starting by painting superheroes because Batman vs Superman is coming up, the Dawn of Justice, and I thought of just painting um, the, the one of their wallpapers, right? I have the reference loaded up on my other monitor now. And yeah, let's get started. I hope it doesn't lag because uh, I've never recorded this um, real time before. So, or maybe it does. Oh no, I'm just painting white on white. <laughs> so, uh, it lags a little bit, but maybe I should downsize it. I was, I'm working at 190. Uh, let's do let's do something smaller. Just blocking values, maybe I can even go smaller than this. Yeah. Okay, so it's pretty dark. So let's just knock out the values. Do -do -do. Change my brush setting to 80%. So I have to keep talking, right? But it's gonna get very boring. Yeah, so I'm just gonna do this on pretty much. Oh, where are my layers? Okay, I'm on the background layer now, so I don't have any layers. I'm thinking of blocking this out just um, all in value first, and then going to add in some color later. After I have uh, done all the value painting. get this um, gradient going all right now I'll start a new layer and just gonna block in the characters so maybe I don't even need to start a new layer or maybe I should or maybe I shouldn't uh, let's just keep it all in one layer uh, let's keep the painting small and oh this is Shelby Batman Batman And this shall be Superman on the right. I'm gu I'm guessing this. Uh, I'm hoping this will only run for maximum an hour or half an hour. It's just so that it keeps it kind of fun and spontaneous. All the values are not very really separated, so I'm gonna lift it a little bit so that my dark values can pop. Yep. Maybe I should draw, start blocking in some form, just the value. So this is his cape, and some specular highlights of his cape, and the anatomy of his neck area, his uh, cranium. Some 
highlights here. area is a uh, mouth region uh, his ears not his ears his helmet the bad ears have to be pointy give a little bit of rim light and all right moving on to Clark Kent block in his hair The poster has this um, Batman Superman logo at the back, but I'm thinking I should just leave it out because this thing is kind of distracting. At least I think the painting will look nice without without the logo. So, and it's not that fun painting logos anyway. <laughs> Fine, this is his, <coughs> I believe it's his shoulder area. Yep, and his cape. Let's get some highlights on the folds of his cape. Don't need to go too deep. Uh, it's easy to get lost in detail, so just try to pay attention not to just block the major values what it's like what it's like the, 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 the big forms I like this brush this brush is kind of when you <laughs> when I bring the size of the brush down it kind of works like a really nice uh, drawing tool and when I make it uh, make it large enough it paints quite well like this right and it also has this uh, funky texture to it so it, it kind of keeps the painting loose so it's, uh, I think it's a quite a versatile brush so that that's good Oh, 
Alright. Let's get rid of all these values here that we don't need. Just trying to get this uh, gradient going. Okay. So we've got the major values pretty much roughed in. Uh, Okay, now maybe to define a little bit of the facial features. Details. I keep reminding myself. Major forms, major forms, major forms. Uh, there are a lot of wrinkles carved in his helmet. <laughs> And he looks angry. Bruh. Not angry, but maybe constantly looks quite serious. That's a sharp nose. Some highlights here. Just gonna pin them in. This is, I think, this is chest piece or something like this. I think we're 10 minutes in to this painting. Trying to get out the major forms. Uh, the eyes area, the facial features are not really defined, so that's probably what I'm going to work on next after I'm done with the major values of Batman. This area here. All over the place. Get this down, get this down, 
this area darker. Ah, his armpit. Line needs to be quite defined, so let's do this. So it's a bit of drawing and a bit of painting, it's all done at the same time. I'm the kind who likes uh, <laughs> to work just from, from, from just uh, blabbing paint all over. I, I, I like the spontaneity of the process. There are times I that I actually do the line work, but because it's gonna be a painting at the end of this uh, process, so just jump straight to paint. outside my house <laughs> I'm sure my Mac can pick that up Facial features, blocking the values, blocking the values. This should be here. It's about this darkness. clean shave so we get some of the that stubble going on and <laughs> this brush is, is good for that kind of thing but you get lost after a while just, just on a side note so I'm still putting in my values don't go down into details the next look a little bit short yeah but that's the power for the shop so let's just do some Cosmetic surgery. Cut that layer out. Oh no. Maybe not. What do I need to do? This area here can be smaller. And this entire head can be smaller. Can be less wide. find neck same for Batman I lost his neck totally <laughs> down and then uh, just paint fill in the gaps so I cut this value here so that he has a neck 
<laughs> they always joke about Batman not having a Ah, uh, yeah, use the li liquify tool, that's good. S downsize my brush. Raise this area. Push this forward. This hair is pretty flat at the back. But yeah, actually, his face should be wider. Oh man, messing this up. That's okay. All right. goes here. This, uh, the forms all got <laughs> warped in the uh, liquify tool. Just so was a bit heavy handed on the liquify but it's alright, it's all still at the rough stage. for his, uh, his mouth area so yeah, I drew a couple of lines but they, they, they don't they don't suggest the form and that's the shadow of that his nose here. I could change this painting to grayscale and yeah so that's a little bit lighter for now and then we can convert it back so if I go to color it's still it's still grayscale so that's kind of helpful I think This connects, but let me just give more design here because it's really dark in the in my reference. Maybe I should lighten the reference and have a better look at what goes on. So this is his temple area, right? Lights in of his chin. Ah. This guy has a really defined chin. <laughs> Okay. 
to to get the corners a little bit darker. Maybe also in this area. In this area. So that we can introduce highlights and they will pop. Let me do a quick save and I'll come back. We are 20 minutes in. Okay, let's continue. Um, now, uh, at this moment, Batman is uh, quite defined, and but uh, Superman is uh, not so defined, so I should give him some attention. So... difficult for me to keep talking as I paint as I run out of things to say <laughs> hope that's okay just push this uh, it's under the Griffi tool again just adjusting his, his facial features That's the great thing about Photoshop, right? Or any kind of digital painting. <laughs> you cannot do this in a tradi traditional canvas. Okay, let's start painting. Adding all the values in the right place. So paint to shift. Shift stuff around. But it's good training though, painting traditionally. So you don't get to do these kind of cheats. Push his chest in. Oh, he has his crest here. Should add it in later. So this is good. Fill in this hole. Da da da. Da da da. Alright. So now we need to define this cape after making all the adjustments. There are skills on this. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you should call them skills, but suit. They look like skills, though. Just probably use it, uh, paint up a texture and then use the overlay. But let me just add a hint of it here first, so that I can be reminded. Jazz piece. Oh, I should be working on his face, man. Alright, just this one. This one highlight. Don't forget. His face. So mid tone values here. Mid tone values here. The side burn is not that low. Somewhere here. facial muscles here adding some highlights to define those and it goes all the way to his mouth area Uh, suggested in the paint 
And this area is not all dark. Let me get some lighter values here. It's always tough to paint eyes. <laughs> it's not tough to paint eyes. It's, it's it's one of those things that is, you can, you can just cannot be lazy about. It looks really young. <laughs> Just gonna add more. I know definition of the aging muscles. really more difficult to paint a human face as compared to a mask <laughs> there's uh, a lot more form definition going on here I mean just just to seeing human faces right so kind of able to tell when something is off more than if a mask is off it's <laughs> cool Probably just a design thing. So let me get this area, the feathers of this area right. Some indication of uh, his comb, comb back hair. I think I'm gonna do this um, daily superhero painting practice for the rest of the month. See how it goes. It's quite fun. I'm gonna do maybe Spider Man next. Spider Man? How does that sound? Oh, I think there's a new Spider Man in the, the Captain America Civil War, Civil War trailer. So maybe. Paint of the paint of the screenshot of that. I'm a Spider-Man fan, haha. <laughs> if you guys have suggestions, you can leave them in the comments. I don't know. There's not many days left till the end of the month and I'll probably paint another subject matter next month.
right. really young though I think I think I need to get his lips right somehow ah oh, no I didn't <laughs> I zoomed in and it's uh, I mentioned earlier that it's difficult to get lost in details so I will zoom back out real soon Because the, I think I think I've blocked in the major forms, but um, the middle size forms are, are not really blocked in, so I should, probably shouldn't be working on the face now. But let's just get everything pretty much all complete to the same amount of completion. Zoom out real soon. If not, we'll be spending forever on this. Okay, so now Batman, Batman's mask can need some work. Oh, it's been uh, about almost half an hour, or maybe just past half an hour. I'm not too sure. Probably it's okay to zoom in at this time. Just just because I need to define these forms anyway. So I can't leave his eyes like I cannot leave his eyes like untouched all the way until the end. Oh it's a painting habit of mine. I, I don't I don't paint a certain area like paint until it's like super defined and then the rest of the painting is not done. So I like to do it all. Everything should progress all at the same time. So it always looks kind of complete. This mask. I think the the man maintenance uh specular on the mask okay there off eyelids on the mask too design and he stares at Superman it's important to get the eye direction right I think I think Superman is <laughs> not exactly looking at him I've never painted Iron Man before, so I quite like Iron Man. And I think it'll be fun to paint all the, the all the shiny specular reflection. It's kind of nice.
Sniper problems. The folds of the eyelid. I guess there's one good thing about painting the side view. You only really have to paint. The, you only have to paint the eye once. It's just really difficult to get this right. Look at each other, come on. And the specular of the eye. Mm. That's too strong. And the shadow, general shadow that causes like some darkness in the air this region and a fill light underneath the top of the nose here clearer definition of his uh, brow ridge his nose bridge Green light here. And some shadow here. probably won't take this to a uh, super high level finish because it just takes a lot of time uh, and, and also because I, I, I like the, 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 the paint, paint strokes of the, the painting so we're gonna call this done really soon it's a bit early to call it done but I, I know <laughs> I know it's a bit early but yeah it's, it's supposed to be a daily practice so Uh, just training the observation, right? Like where is like where is dark? I'm trying to get some form here. So I think I lost the form here pretty much. Okay, I'm trying to get get that back in. The shoulder. I think it's time to add some textures so let me start a new layer and uh, draw this uh, I think the Superman suit texture looks a bit like this I think something like that so try to duplicate this not sure if this will work um, I think it will Oh no, I merged it down. I need to get a good coverage of this thing. Uh, here. Just inverse it so I can see better. empty holes and having to hand paint them myself so we got this texture let me just um, archive it I'll call it archive I'll just hide it in case I need to use it again later so make a few duplicates of it boom 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 what's going on apply it boom, boom, boom. hide it let's get it down Scale it down, and yeah, 
there's this um, button here, what is it called? Let's see. It's the switch between free transform and warp modes. Yeah, warp. So let's go into the warp mode and so warp it according to the texture of his shoulder. Actually, I think the texture is a little bit bigger, but it's alright. This area because it because it it goes into the distance of his chest. So we should try to make sure that it pops to the distance. I don't think I got it, but <laughs> let's just erase the areas we don't need first. I'll do the, the, the area the area in the front for separate pass. areas we don't need merge it down merge it down let's, um, let's use the dodge tool to get some highlights especially on this uh, shoulder area and this uh, arm I don't know what you call this. The chest muscle area. Oh, he has some highlight on his uh, neck that wasn't there before. I'll just add it in now. Just since I'm in the dodge too, just let's get some super hot highlights in these areas. Light up his eye. Maybe a little bit more. More attention will go to the eye area. Yeah, make these decisions f from further away so we don't we don't overdo things. This area could catch some light and some more light here. Overall face could catch some light. The other areas can be darker. So I'm deviating from the, the reference here, but let's get a darker. Yeah, that's kind of nice. So I've lost some definition. Oh, I lost quite a bit of stuff. But it's okay, I'll pin those in again. Let's do this. Time to up rest now, actually, right? So let's just go to 1920. Yeah, because 
earlier I was I was I was doing the 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 big value blocking and my brush actually lagged. So now that we are going to paint details, it's gonna be a lot faster. Less texting for the computer. Oh man, what happened? Hopefully my <laughs> keyboard clicks won't be too annoying. <laughs> Just because uh, I have the whole alternate to pick the color, right? And then I press the square brackets to adjust the brush size. Sometimes when when it's very minor adjustments, I do this. When I need like big changes, I hold alternate and right click and swing the cursor to get a different brush size. And what else? And that's pretty much it. And alternate shift right click to get this um, quick sample color sample menu. So I think uh, I think you guys can observe right. That's pretty much all I use. <laughs> so it's, it's nice to not have to go back to like the color picker from the sidebar. I think it's a little bit different on the Mac. It's, uh, can, I couldn't get used to it, I think. But just uh, that's just me not getting used to it. I think it's like holding alternate Apple alternate and left click to get that to get that swatch menu out. Or to even change the brush size, I think. Not too sure. <laughs> Right. Let's, uh, let's reuse this texture for his cape also. Scale it down. Hmm. I think this is pretty much the, the same process if you're modeling this in uh, 3D. And then in ZBrush, you need to add the uh, textures on the guy. Sometimes it's just the same same stamp, right? Oh no, it's actually different. Oh yeah. Oh well. I guess it's okay in painting. Oh, it's really lagging a lot here. It's using this big brush. Keep the specular consistent with uh, the l where the light is coming from. area. There should be a 
clearer definition of a snack. And there's a hit of uh, highlight on the snack here. And it's uh, Adam's apple. I'm almost an hour into this painting, just <laughs> blocking the values was fast, right? But painting details take really a lot of time. I could I could paint faster maybe. Just click faster. Alright, just add some random strands of hair. Oh that's too heavy. Bring down the opacity. Bring down my birth size. Just to suggest that, oh yeah, you just have to add a few strands here and there, and it gives the impression, it gives the illusion that there that you painted every single strand. <laughs> white value, we should do it with a black value also. the texture of the brush to get the stubble in <laughs> what was I was saying just earlier mm. this um that should be staining as it's attaching to the to the skin here so as our values sewing alright and chest piece so this is a very sharp edge definition piece let me just zoom in on this a lasso for this also actually I'm just lazy to, to draw the lasso let me tr just try doing it with paint because lasso can get you really hard edges it's pretty neat but let's just do this by hand
to the resemblance I don't think I got it right but it's all, it's all right, it still looks like Superman Is wrong. He looks like uh, he looks confused. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> so gotta fix the expression. Get more highlights here. Get more highlights here. Separation by this there. Just use the brush texture to add the stubble in. Holes in this mask. So trying, trying to get it right.
Okay, it's time to do the Batman texture. Oh wait, let me just adjust his facial features. He should be more side view. Push this guy here. This guy should be more of a tipping angle. Could use a bit more. Uh, Batman could use a bit more room light on the on his left from this direction. So let me try adding those in. Not a rim light, just a feel. So that is slightly more form definition in that area than just a uh, pure black. Right, let's uh oh man. I made the mistake of uh losing the definition of uh Superman's cape. So I'm not gonna do it now. I'm just gonna add, uh, make sure I define the Batman's cape more before I start on the textures. The rest of the cape is not as important but at, at least there's a separation area between the, the shoulder and the cape. But we gotta make sure that at least that works and also how this is his shoulder so we gotta let the value run to his neck like this and this circular form and then it runs up to his neck right some highlights I think the area like this um, Batman mask area it's uh, getting more highlights and attention than Superman so let me make his Superman's forehead a bit shinier so that it doesn't lose out in terms of getting the attention in the painting This high. Yeah. I think his mask could be a little bit high. 
eight. Like this. Yeah. Alright. Now let's do finally the texture for Batman. Oh man, I gotta <laughs> fix this. Okay, now if I made the texture for Batman. Oh this crest looks really nice. <laughs> Did that sound like a uh, encouraging myself. <laughs> Just clearly define this area. Okay. Now the Batman texture is uh, more stripy than the, the, the scaly one on Superman. I think that's a. It's it's, it's one of. Uh, I think it's a clever art direction. You know. Like make sure that uh, the texture is different. Texture. So I start a new layer. Same approach as before. I, I could probably trash this Superman one. Yeah, let's just trash it. I don't need either. I, <laughs> the OCD part of me doesn't want to see all this around. Just trash it. Okay, Batman textures. So it's, it's stripey, I think. Yeah, so it's uh, not difficult to draw stripes, right? So let's just draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then, yeah, that's it. Duplicate it. Make sure it flows. Merge it down. Maybe lengthen it. it so I can see it. This is enough. So put it down and I'll call this the archive layer. Duplicate, 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 duplicate. And this shall be the texture of this area. It follows the contour of his shoulder like this. Alright, I think that's good. And shall so erase all the areas that are not important. Something like this. And invert it. Duplicate it and invert it again. Press offset it a little bit, and this shall be the highlights area. So let's just erase what we don't need. Yep, that's, just, that's pretty nice. side of his uh, shoulder. So let's just repeat the same process. Rotate this. Rotate this at the right angle. Let's get it down. Let's get it down. Something like this. Bit till it fits the shoulder like this and erase parts we don't need. And duplicate, make the base black, make the specular leave the specular white and erase accordingly oh, 
but the scale of the texture is a bit off. Let me just size this up a little bit. It's alright. It's um, not a huge deal. Let me merge it down now. Okay, we are 1 hour 10 minutes in to this painting. There is this uh, seam over here. Let me just add that in. It's a nice touch. a bit too obvious. Gotta kill it. I just kill it as it gradually goes into this area. Okay, now for the front piece. Ah, for the chest piece. There are a lot of patterns here on the chest piece. Let me just uh, define them. This looks a bit plasticky. So let's make it plasticky. Separation here. I think I can hand paint this in to some extent. I mean, it's all hand painted, right? Even the textures, but. Hopefully, you guys get some techniques out of this. Pretty common techniques that I think a lot of painters use. And this seems man made, as in, this seems to be a hard edge, similar to this chest piece here. So we could add some highlights. area it's supposed to flow this way this way I believe yeah something like that erase the part that we don't need here too. Let's get it down. Bridge it down. Okay, get a specular. Offset it. And erase.
Merge it all down. Actually, the stripe pattern on the Batman is a bit lost here. Now it looks a bit cross. It's more like a crisscross pattern instead. So I gotta accentuate one, one direction more. So let's just paint that in. Since we have guides now. afraid to hand paint or stuff like that or even if you mess up the texture <laughs> you can still paint over so it's, it's, it's uh, dig digital paint right so it's not like if you're using watercolor or it's uh, limited paint this is unlimited paint this image. I think I'll upload it on my blog. On my website. And you guys can find this image there. Maybe I'll color it like if I'm free but I'm pretty busy these days. looks a bit smooth, this area looks a bit blotchy, so let's, to solve that, let's add blotch to the smooth area and smooth the blotch area. <laughs> that makes sense, right? Blotchiness is kind of cool. It's like when the, when the paint don't eat onto the traditional canvas as, as well as it should. Then we get this blotchiness, it's quite nice. Okay. Maybe as a final touch, you should add some, add some uh, lens flares, right? They have it in the, the, the poster here. Hope you guys enjoy this video. I don't know how how interesting is it to to watch me paint. <laughs> but I, I think there are some tips that uh, you guys can get out of this video. So hopefully, hopefully it helps some people. Let's get some. Ah, his hair. He has nice hair, so we should highlight it a little bit. Color dodge. This area is a little bit too dark as compared to the Superman area. I'm talking about like this area. It's darker than this area. So I gotta lift this up a little bit. Oh, 
Okay. So I guess that's it. I'll delete all these archive layers. Create a new layer. Type in date and then I'll just write my name. Write my name. Okay, so I'll save this um, image and then upload it onto my website. And of course, this video will be on YouTube. Um, on my YouTube channel, there are. <laughs> it's pretty much an art dump, <laughs> kind of. I upload my my demo reel on it. Uh, I was a I was a heavy three D artist, and then that is where I, you can see all my technical videos on my rigging and all the stuff like that but i also enjoy painting a lot and it's it's really fun to paint so i've also done tutorials on optimus prime and some value separation techniques i also have uh, 3d um what do you call it my maya tutorials and of course i, I have a painting series that i just um, record the paintings and just fast forward it and then i just upload it so that has been how i've been making my speed painting videos but i thought um this painting process might be quite 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 fun for you guys to watch at real time I don't know maybe so let me know what you guys think of this and yeah I'll, I'll be uploading uh, on my website I have a blog section here it's uh, ronald-fong.com and then this is where I have uh, my, I have my painting practices so I, didn't, I, did, I don't record everything I paint obviously and I have uh, some mail scripts that can help people out and uh, yeah so I'll upload it as a blog post here and just for fun right so uh, I will see you guys around from, I think I'm gonna paint spider-man yeah spider-man okay wait let's jump back to this image just full screen it maybe save 